Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Joe here and Lorenzo doing another video. Today we're gonna to make baked ziti. It's a, kind of a simple dish to make. It's a quick dish if you need something for dinner. We're gonna start, I'll go over and show you the ingredients and start telling you what's, what's up. First thing we got is we have a, a nine by 13. You could use a glass one or this tray. This usually holds about three quarts of material. We got a pound of ziti. We got a quart of our of, of, of sauce that we made, to, uh, tomato sauce, and you can click up there for the information on how to make this sauce. It's a chopped meat sauce. We're putting chopped meat in it. You don't have to put chopped meat. You can use a plain sauce if you want or a jar sauce, but you need about a quart. I got about a pound of ricotta, and I got three ounces and a little more here for the after of uh, pecco. Uh, no, this is not pecorino, right, Lorenzo? This is Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano, and this is a half a pound of mozzarella and a pound of macaroni ziti. Now, when you cook this macaroni, you're going to have two pounds because it doubles. So that's two pounds is a quart. That's one quart. Here's a quart of sauce. That's two quarts. This is a half a pound, so this is two and a half quarts. And the mozzarella is eight ounces, so you almost like three quarts of material here going into this tray, so it should fit in this tray. So that's how you figure that kind of stuff out. Okay, and the other thing is, we made lasagna, or lasagna. It's the same thing almost as lasagna, but this is an easier way to make lasagna because you don't have to go with the layers and all that stuff. You just mix it all together. But you want to look at our lasagna video, it's up here too. Okay, we'll we'll get started now. Okay, I wanted to tell you, I buttered this a little bit. So like I said, you could use any 13 by nine tray for this for these amount of ingredients. In the in the description, you'll have exactly the amounts I use for this recipe. And uh it's an easy way of making lasagna. That's what it basically comes down to. And it's a very good dish. Now, I'm gonna, we have our water boiling over here. I'm gonna add our salt, a tablespoon of salt, five quarts of water about, roughly, and a big tablespoon of salt. And I'm gonna get our box of ranzoni. And I'm only going to do this for about 10 minutes because we want them a little al dente because they're going to cook more inside that tray. So we'll do it for about zero, zero, 009. Start. And I have my oven preset for 375, warming up for 375 when we bake it. Okay, we drained our macaroni. I did it about eight, nine minutes. It's very good. It's not too cooked. I'm going to put some of it in right now into the pan. I put a little sauce on the bottom as Lorenzo is stealing some macaroni. Tonight we're going to have Sophia come over after we make this and we're going to have a nice dinner. We're going to do about half of this in here right now. Then we're going to take half of our ricotta. Spread it around like that. We're going to take half of our mozzarella. Put it in there. And we're going to take some more. What kind of cheese? Oh, this is the Parmesan. Parmesan. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to use Parmesan. You could use Pecorino Romano, too, if you like. And we're going to put our sauce in here. Here's Lorenzo adding his favorite. <laughs> and we're going to kind of mix this up a little bit. Okay. 
here. I'll control the rest of this in. There's one for you, Lorenzo. Put the rest of our reporter in. It's really simple. It's not a big deal. Let me clean that up good. Put a little more of the uh, rest of our mozzarella in it. Get this over here. And then you kind of finish it off with the sauce and cheese, the grated Parmesan cheese. You know. Okay, so now we got that all mixed in, and then you put the last of your sauce and kind of spread it on top. No more ricotta and mozzarella on the top layer. See, as I told you, it just about fits in here. And you give it a nice coating of this Parmesan. I wish Lorenzo would stop, but he doesn't stop. It's really good. Okay. How's that look? Good? Amazing. I'm gonna cover this with a little piece of tin foil. Some holes in it. Put it in a 375 oven for about 25 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll check it again. And I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, I just took it out. It took about 40 minutes. I wanted to get it up to at least 160 in the middle. And it's done. So we're, we're going to have a nice surprise family dinner all around the table. Stick with us. Okay, here we are back now with a little family dinner. We're all going to have some of this and then we'll send some over to mom and dad. Bye, everyone. Bye. And we'll serve Sophia, Bye. give me a dish a little. Looks yummy. Looks yummy, don't it? Mm hmm Okay, and there's extra cheese here. Linda, give me a dish. I got a hold of this thing. <laughs> now, Lorenzo, I'll do mine first. It's good. Mm. But they're not supposed to try it. Yeah, try oh, it. It's good. You 10 like, out of 10. 10 out of 10. Five oh, stars. God, that's great. Everyone make this recipe. And here's Lorenzo's. Let me get Lorenzo in the picture. Okay, Lorenzo. You're blocking the camera. Grandpa, you're blocking the camera. Oh, yeah, my thumb again. <laughs> okay, here you go. There's so, Lorenzo. My right, editor. Let's try it. Try it. What do you think? It's very good. Very good? You're not showing me. <laughs> okay. It's very good. All right. All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks Don't for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>